From the main menu, let me jump into the data flow service itself. From the main dashboard, we can quickly look into the flows that already have been deployed. Here, let's go and investigate what's going on with the syslog to Kafka. The easiest way is to have a very quick overview of the data that has been received and the data that has been sent. Let's click into this one. You can see some of the key performance indicators that have been set, and you can see how they're performing against a boundary layer. We can go into system metrics see how many current cores have been allocated and what's the CPU utilization, as well as some of the alerts. So you can see some of the alerts that have been triggered. For example, this one where a threshold has been breached. Next, let's go into the deployment management where you can quickly investigate the status, it's looking at good health, the environment, it's running on AWS, and some of the key performance indicators that have already been preset, we can quickly take a look at, for example, this key performance indicator. We have a trigger alert, the metric that is greater one megabyte. And you can just as easily add additional ones. And you just choose the scope of the KPI itself. All right, let's go into sizing and scaling. As you can see, we've set a minimum of three nodes and a maximum of not nine nodes for this specific flow. Generally, this is considered a extra small sizing. So when there's more data coming, it can auto scale up to nine nodes maximum. And there's some additional parameters, which we won't go over into details for this demo. Let's jump instead into the actual flow designer. Right now we're on our low code UI powered by Apache NiFi. And you can see here three different processors, generate system log, filter events, and write to Kafka. Let's investigate the generate system log in more detail. The primary tab we're interested in is the actual Python script that's generating this system log. Let's quickly take a look what's going on here. Ah, you can see that there's a system log that's being generated and it's a random output with this specific format. A very simple flow, but showcases how easy it is to drag and drop these different processors so let me just quickly illustrate how that's being done. We've got Kafka pre-selected. Let's go into consume Kafka. So we have another processor, normally a pretty complex code. And we can quickly connect and set up the settings, which we won't do this today, to set up an actual connection and consume to Kafka. We can also stop some of these processors. For example, we can pause this filter events processor for uh, any period of time and see how the events will be queuing up. All right, let's restart it. And let's go back to the dashboard itself. Next, let's look into the central catalog where all the flows have been important. Here we have pre-filtered to just uh, look into the flows related to Kafka. As you can see, this is the flow we've just investigated. Let's just take a quick look. If you wanted to redeploy with a different version, you would just update it and then you could hit deploy and that flow would again uh, appear in the main dashboard. Next, let me go into a ready flow gallery where we have pre-built custom templates for most common use cases uh, for different flows, such as Kafka to Cloudera Operational Database, Confluent Cloud to Snowflake, Confluent Cloud to S3 or ADLS. And I'm going to focus on this very simple one, Hello World, that doesn't have any external dependencies. Let's take a look at the flow definition. I can see that this one has already been added, so I'll just hit Deploy and select the environment. Here, I only have one environment, but I could just as easily have other public cloud environments, such as Azure. Continue. And here I have a very simple wizard where I can deploy a new flow. So let me just give it a name, hello data flow. Next, leave this configuration, no parameters to configure. Sizing and scaling, this is a very simple one, so I'm just gonna leave it as is, no auto scaling, no key performance indicators. And after a quick review, I'm just gonna hit deploy. You can see that our hello data flow flow is being now deployed. 
And again, I just want to recap that our dashboard reflects the runtime that's optimized for the always running workloads. Workloads that might have strict SLAs, workloads that need to process real time streaming data. Finally, let's take a look at data flow functions. This is our latest feature that's optimized for the event-driven, short-lived, batch-type job use cases. And it runs on the serverless compute services, also known as function as a service, on AWS Lambda, Azure Functions, or Google Cloud Functions.